What's up, everybody? Welcome back to MLB The Show 21, Seattle Mariners 2021 season rolls on. Uh, this is game number 138, I believe. Uh, I think I still need to turn the light on. I checked it. It lit up a little bit. The sun kind of thought about coming out, but then the clouds, I guess, took it away while I was trying to read something on my phone. So I looked at it, went to like the intro screen, looked at an article, came back, and I'm like, mm, it still looks a little darker than I, I thought it did. Um, but yeah, I, I, this should be game 138, yeah. Um, 86 and 51 are the Seattle Mariners coming off of a loss to the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. Kind of a weird loss, an ugly loss. Um, and we've seen over the last two series a weird kind of pattern developing. Tight win, solid win, slash blowout, and then loss. And we saw it back in Houston as well. Tight win in the first game, big giant blowout, loss. Does that continue today? I kind of hope not. I'd like to get a sweep, but series wins are still good. That's more important than getting sweeps. However, uh, the loss yesterday does push the Angels a game closer to us. So they are 7-3 and three in their last 10. They were able to pick up a game yesterday. Three games now behind the Seattle Mariners. The Astros are slipping a bit, and they are Three and seven over their last ten, and ten and a half games back of first place. Now, they are starting Zach Greinke. Zach Greinke was the starter in game number two when we rocked seven home runs in that game in route to a ten to two victory. He is fifteen and eight with a three point six zero ERA. We have Justice Sheffield on the mound, twelve and ten with a four point zero two ERA. As Seattle eighty six and fifty one takes on seventy five and sixty one Houston, the Houston Astros. Where this gets interesting is now we have some contention. These are the last three games that we're going to see from... That was weird. Um, these are the last three games we're going to see Houston. After this, it's going to be all athletics, angels. I don't, even, I don't even think we see Texas. We see Boston, Kansas City, I believe Oakland, and Los Angeles here on out. Uh, and Arizona for a three-game set at home. The Astros are now only two games ahead of the Blue Jays. So the Blue Jays, who are 8-2 and two in their last 10, could use some help from the Mariners today to get themselves back into contention in the wild card, uh, the wild card race. Now, what's interesting about it is if we flip over here to the American League East standings, they're only a half game back of the Yankees. So it kind of... It, it, they, they'll get it. They could... They could. It, it is more... How do I want to say this? It's more possible, more likely, more probable that they could vault into first place into the American League East and not even have to really worry about the wild card if they can get a win and catch a catch a break from the Yankees and they get a loss, if that makes sense. I feel like I didn't say that very cleanly, but I think it's it's uh, it's getting interesting as we uh, look at these standings here. The Tigers two games away from being eliminated from playoff contention. Um See if there's anybody in the NL. The Pirates are one game out for being eliminated from playoff contention. This American League wild card continues to look interesting. I guess I should probably look at the National League wild card, but we don't really have any say in that. The Brewers half a game back. The Reds five games back. Padres, Braves, Marlins. And I think the American League wild card is starting to take shape. Um, I would count the Rays maybe. They're 7-3 in their last 10. But they're still going to they're gonna need a lot more help. I think that they should get help, though, because they play in the American League East, and depending on who they play down the stretch, they could help themselves by beating, if they play the Blue Jays or if they play the, the Red Sox, maybe that's where they can, uh, can gain some ground back. But we'll have to see. We have uh, 28 days until the postseason. It's very exciting. 25 games, I believe, in, including today's game. I think we have 25 games, 24, 25 games, something like that. Um, and we'll go ahead and jump on in here to game number one of this three game set in Houston Mariners Astros. We'll see if they wear those weird home uniforms. I don't like them. I think they look awful. I think there's like seventies inspired, but they're bad. Justice Sheffield is going to get the start today. We might have to start rotating some bodies in the outfield. Um, we did make, I did make a whole lot of substitutions last time, so uh, we played pretty much the whole series with one, one, um, one starting lineup. Um, 
but it'll be nice to be back in a, an American league park. We have our designated hitter back. Um, and hopefully we can get back into a better flow. Jake Fraley starting off JP Crawford. I think they finally kind of just made him the day one, like the day daily starter in, uh, in left field. Finally, usually I would have to substitute him in, but I think we'll be okay. Um, he could probably go all series. Maybe we'll check and see how Lewis and oh, I guess Seeger. Okay. Lewis and Seeger. Hanager will be fine. So we might just have to rotate the Kyles out for the next couple of games. That's fine. That'll all work out. It'll be totally, totally good. All right. Here we go. Mariners. 10-15. 1,015 strikeouts. Still one stolen base. Thought about stealing a base the other day. Don't feel like I know how to do it very well. I think you're supposed to use the left stick to like maybe give them an extra step or something. I don't know. I, I never looked at it. I got one. I've been thrown out a couple times and then just kind of gave up. But hey, if you want to see if I steal any more bases, scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell so you're notified when I post new videos every day, 1 p.m. Pacific time, right here on youtube.com slash Strikes. You can catch a brand new game of Mariners Baseball. Or when the Mariners are off, you can catch uh, an episode of Chad Champ. However, you know, whatever you're watching, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Welcome to Houston. We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this preseason. Oh, that's right. We're on MLB Network. Major League Baseball, a Labor Day matchup in store for you here between the Seattle Mariners and the Houston Astros. Kyle Yesterday's big problems were not great hitting, and um, we gave up a ton of hits with two strikes and two outs, and it was kind of a mess. Zach Greinke getting the start today. Twenty-six starts. 15 and 8 record, 3.60 ERA, 167.2 innings pitched, 124 strikeouts, 28 walks. See if we can uh, see if we can get the better of him again today. Now we do get that MLB Network uh, style, so my camera placement kind of looks weird. Uh, but it's mainly for the MLB, the show stuff, which is usually right down there. Um, but uh, the the out counter is going to be real slow. It will trip me up at some point. Unfortunately, Jake Fraley yesterday lost his hitting streak. It was at 26 games, went 0 for 5 yesterday. Almost had one, but it was a hot shot to first base in the final at bat of the game. Blew an opportunity in the eighth against the Diamondbacks. And just like that, he's right back on the positive side of getting the hit. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat to the offense right there. Nice piece of hit. Executed his pitch away again, but the hitter was able to stay on time. J.P. Crawford? Oh, that was a bad swing. That was a really bad swing. Boston took a loss to Tampa Bay. And the Yankees beat the Blue Jays. Yankees are playing the Blue Jays. Interesting. So that'll, that'll be an interesting series to watch the scores of. That's out. calling balls and strikes in this one Mr. James Kingsley Dan I know I was an offensive player but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire if you're going to consistently pound that outer half James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you hey listen there's a reason why oh no throughout the league they call him the king of the hill you move the ball a little bit off the strike zone he's not afraid of ah, damn him, he's a very good that was a that was bad that was very bad Sixty-nine ribbies, nice. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Pirates and Tigers, just two teams playing meaningless baseball. Here's the first pitch now from Granky. Two out, nobody on. A 
really early on that curveball. Very early. My apologies. Oh, that was a really weak swing on that. That was an unnecessary slide, Altuve. Okay, not not the start I was looking for. I mean, the first hit was good. Get Fraley back on the, get back, get him back in the hit column. See if we can get another something brewing with him. But god damn, Justice Sheffield, 27 starts, 12 and 10 record with a 4.02 ERA, 172.1 innings pitched, 91 to five strikeouts to walk. Under 250 against this guy, so whatever he's doing second against baseman. lefties, it certainly okay. works. Here's the second oh, baseman, okay. Jose Altuve. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Off and he's quickly behind right. Let's see if we can uh, have a little bit more luck here. Nothing in two Getting some two-strike punch outs. There we go. That'll work. Yeah, the thing does not uh, does not put a, a thing. It doesn't register that there is an out until the camera cuts. Whereas with the MLB, the show style or broadcast or whatever it is, as soon as the out is made, it is immediately accounted for. There you go. Digging in will be Jordan Alvarez. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the street. Obviously, an American League West crown would be ideal. What I would like to see, however, uh, we are in good position to at least make the wild card game. So, outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Been in and first for a while. Angels have been hot lately. The start of play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent. And for a while, I mean, I've talked about it a lot, especially in the intros yeah, to these games. Of just like level, we've been able to, to keep the Angels at bay by playing as well as they have been, if not a little bit better. That might pull him off the bag. Okay. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. That was it was right on that line. It's also a very slow roller through a bunch of debris. It's like I he, I kind of I can understand that. Kyle Seager, OPS of a thousand, hit his 46th home run yesterday. Four-seam change-up slider and a curveball. Inning number two. Right Early on it. Located that better with my thing. I might have been able to do something. Perfect hit, and that'll be out number one. Is there and he'll bring this one in. That is good. The right fielder. Perfect Mitch timing, I guess. Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger, the next to bat. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Okay. And while he's been a dominant offensive force this year, a quick look at his last 10 games paints a bleaker picture. His batting average is below 250 over that stretch. And this is the right to him. Time you want to go into a little mini slump right here. Dog days you want to Ooh, I was uh that was close. I don't think they'll give me an opportunity to do the review, but maybe take two steps back. Maybe get Hold on. Hang on. I'm sure he was out because it didn't even give you the opportunity to, but that was a surprisingly slow. 
Okay, yeah, it was it was not close. Never mind. And the pitch. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Fucking damn it. All right, I got to slow down. I got to slow the fuck down at the plate. That four seam kind of dropped on me a little more than I was anticipating. I thought it looked a lot better. Thought it was going to be a high heater. Instead, it was a just kind of... It dropped just enough to give me some trouble there. Here comes the first pitch. Sheffield has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. In this day and age of smaller ballparks, the ball's lively, the bats are harder. This guy does a great job of keeping the ball in the ballpark. And one of the keys, he's not. Uh oh, hold that thought as this one is deep down the line and left. Hooking. Wow. Okay. That wasn't even my own commentator's curse. That was them. Wow. All right. Still struggling with the slider. That was probably the best one I had thrown. Just fuck me. That is inconvenient. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches, and this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Yeah, it's just he was looking for it right where it was thrown. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He looks at a fastball that's in there hmm. for strike one. That We're good, though. It's only a one nothing game. We're in the bottom half of the second inning. Mercifully, we don't have to see this fucking team anymore. Tired of them. It's been kind of weird, though. The schedule, like, we saw them a bunch at the beginning and then a bunch at the end. And it's like, oh, you could probably spread these out a little bit more. Hit out towards second. He's right there. So a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. That exists. The center fielder. Ian. We'll see if we can uh, turn this around and do anything. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. Here's the first pitch. I mean, aside from the the really dominant game number two. Didn't play particularly well against Houston last time we saw them. Got the nice 2-1 victory, but fell apart in that uh, that third and final game. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. Released it from out front much better that time. I just think he wasn't real happy with the first one he threw, so he wanted to get the feel back for it. Here comes the 1-2. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1-2. Into the windup and the pitch. He's now, in that big dominant game outside. that we had, the third inning was the inning that we were that we started to get off on a good foot. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound, and he'll just flip this on to first for the second. That was game. against Grinky, so we've had success against him in the past. So here's Trey Mancini trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Mancini. First pitch coming, here it is. A swing and a ground ball to third. Seeger fields it cleanly. Over to first. There we go. Beautiful side. throw. Third to first right there. One more for the Astros, and it comes on this solo homer. We've played two. It's now one nothing Houston. Dylan Moore. Dylan Moore as we are all set to begin the third Got a couple of career highs in these uh, home run columns. 
course, Kyle Lewis, only year number two for him, so. Ground ball sent back up that the was... middle. In. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Getting, getting out of the habits that I've tried to break. I, getting, I don't know. I said that wrong. I was doing a lot better with being more patient at the plate and just trying to not swing power swings at everything. And I, I just struggling with, with that again, as evidenced by that first pitch right there. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The average sitting right at 270 on the year. Nine homers and 30 RBIs. The 1-0. Ooh, way early on the curveball. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Ah, just foul. Just a foul. Damn it. One out, nobody on. Very late on that four seam. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, right back at him, and it hit him. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. And now they've requested some Hang on, we'll see if we can see if that's actually an out. Fuck me. Well, here's another look at it. It certainly was bang, bang. Wow, tough for me to tell on that look. Definitely a tough call. No, it's an out. There. It's now, an out. The indication from the dugout is that they will not challenge the call on the field, so the runner is indeed out. Standing in now, Luis Torrens. As he will take strike one. The difficulty the decreased, no huh? It started veteran in yesterday's game, and I just slowly whittled it down. I was able to get a home run with Kyle Seeger, but... Didn't do a whole lot else. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. That slider dropped on me as well. Cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. So they go quietly here in this half. Man. We'll move on to the bottom. Man, oh man, oh man. It's the Astros one. And the there's nothing. Fuck. Now at the plate, Alberto Ibarra, he'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Oh, God. Good opportunity. Just take a second and get up, get a drink. You might think, wow, Sean, is your hair short? No, it's just pulled all behind my ears, so I, it doesn't sit in my... Uh, First offering on its way. Sit in the ear cups and tickle it. Still long hair. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. That was... Uh, First digging for two. And he will get in there with his first big league hit, a double. <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. What the fuck? That was a first pitch swing, I'm pretty sure. Or was it a second pitch swing? They do have like, there's like a September call up thing that they like want you to use. Corey Lee digging in now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He'll start this one at 274. One home run and eight runs batted in. We're actually not doing too bad pitch count wise. That was an awful slider. Good God. Short. Loves it. And that's there we it. go. Some nice play right there. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. He popped okay. out in his first trip. Oh, good orbit. We get to see this fucking freak again. As a 
look now the pitch and he puts it on the ground to second and that's through into right field for a base hit he'll come home with it out. out out what a throw from Hanniger what a great throw from Hanniger in right field fuck yes defensively everything was absolutely perfect delivering a strike to the plate to cut down the run from an offensive standpoint you have to honor your third base coach right there you have to pick him up he had the stop sign on all the way that was just a selfish baseball play did he really have the stop sign on oops I did not actually mean to go to the bullpen I meant to go to a replay Oh, he definitely, that is absolutely a stop sign. Holy shit. Well, rookie's going to rookie. Honestly, if that wasn't a perfect throw, I don't think he took a very good slide at this either. He's making a weird, like, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that was a, that was a blown stop sign right there. Stepping in now, Kyle Tucker. In there, now the throw. Not in time as the offline throw allows him to get in there easily. Come set, the 0-1. Outside, that's ball. Altuve stands at second with two gone. Hit hard up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. On to second, but he's in safely as a run will score on the play as well. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position. Uh, Lewis did not throw this ball hard in at all. That was such a fucking lob. Just no urgency, like just kind of throwing it. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. And that misses for ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself. I mean, still not doing bad over. pitch count wise at all. Uh, could have been worse, the honestly. In the inning on this RBI double. And the stolen base definitely helped him. It's now 2 0 Houston. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jake Fraley. And they could use but, you know, a bloop and a blast. We're right back in it. Nothing to panic about yet. Build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now. But this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that misses 1 That's and 1. That's good. That's good. Line to the right drop, side. drop, 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 drop. That'll That's work. That'll work. work. That wind is kicking up. I think that rain's finally finally coming down. Team hits. Fraley at 138. And he didn't even play much for the first uh, first like solid chunk of the season. Right. See if we can get something going here. We're good. Top four. The Angels got a got an L. Oh damn it! Damn it! I was looking. Uh, I was looking for the curveball there. Look at all those pitchers with 15 wins. My goodness. Including uh, Zach Greinke. Five of the seven pitchers there have 15 wins, and three of them are mine. 
Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. One and oh, the count. Granky over to first, and he's back in standing. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Ah, I got me with that slider. There as he's way out in front. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Now that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, 6 inches. The batter. Next, here is Kyle, Kyle Seeger. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. On the ground, up the middle. And Ooh, this was kind of a dangerous move. Thankfully, it was really slow getting to center field. So he picks up another hit. First of the game, but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many. So I believe it's uh, hit number 150 of him for the for him for the season. Title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game, he's the one guy when he walks in the clubhouse door. There we go. Good take on that slider. Mitch Hanniger is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Runners at the corners, two men out. Now it's okay, all right. I was a little worried that was going to be a going to be a strike. With guys on base. And he's going to deliver the run here. Is this? There we go. That'll work. That'll work. That's all right. We're good. We're good. Seager has 39 speed. That's like max speed for him. We're going to just let him be at second. Got something hittable. So here now is Ty France. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. Ah, I thought that might have dropped. I thought it might have dropped. Damn it. All right, well, Handiger came through, so got us a hit. No I got a ribby, I should on. say. And I did actually think that Ty France shot was, or that Ty France contact was going to be a, a little bloop shot in there. I did send Seeger. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And set to go as the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive, fair ball down the line. He's through first and hustling for second. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. A little and surprised he, he did not go to third. With a leadoff double. So quickly into scoring position here following the opposite field double. And as you see there, that total good for second place on this Astros ball club. Oh, come on. Sorry, I'm trying to get some of these notifications off my phone while they whine about that it's asshole. Carlos Correa now, as he takes a there cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Oh, no, I... He's 0-1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's ready, here's the 0-1. The how? What the fuck? Are you are you kidding me? That's bullshit. That fucking sucks. I should have been 0-2 count. How is how is pitch number two that much different than pitch number one that it's a ball instead of a strike? Astros 
shortstop in front with a three and one count. Yeah, this has not been a good at bat. The slider has just failed me. I know it's a three one in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. And he'll make the count. Oh, check that. He didn't look it into his glove, and the ball drops in. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Back to back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit, lacing a double of his own. Could be a big inning at this point. I don't use the fucking cutoff the way I should. So now to the plate, Ian Happ, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after God fucking damn it. God fucking so damn far. it. That is just piss poor fucking bullshit. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Well, that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him, but it really hasn't been effective so far. It just looks kind of flat. The part of the round towards second. Fielded cleanly. Got the got one of those two runs that I'd given up back and couldn't do anything with it. Defensively, give it up back, give it back up immediately. Struggle with all the words in the world. I can't tell. So the like the central air is on, but I think it's also real windy. I can't tell which one's which. Pitch of the AB on its way. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job keeping it. Okay, that was a uh, dangerous, dangerous throw right there. No reason to throw that ball. Takes this the other way to right. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. So another run in to score. And we've seen that this has been a potent offense all season. Long. Again, we have that, that same problem that we've been struggling with. Two outs. Two outs have been pro a problem. I think it's just the central air, but the weather has been weird this morning. in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Pitch count still not terrible, so that's... As a look, now the pitch. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. It's fine, but... is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We played four full. The Astros lead it four to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get Hi, set Heidi. for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. All right, Heidi, thank you. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, the second Dylan, baseman. Moore. Dylan Moore. Here's the first pitch now from Granke. Yeah. Okay. So through four innings, he has 35 pitches. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0-1. Line hard, deep into left. And this is taken Damn, into that, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Everything about that was great, except for... Fuck, I thought maybe a 
Just Maybe a double, you know, probably realistically a single. That got out so real quick. And, and it probably would have careened off that out of town scoreboard real and well. Like real like like solid bounce back is, is where I'm going with that sentence. Ah, damn it. Didn't drop the way I wanted it to. Next to hit is Luis Torrens. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on the way. No balls on the strike to count. Damn. Too early on that one. All right, I'll take it. I was looking high for that. Good pitch, and it's 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on, and if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to center field, and that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Good work some life would be, uh, some life would be nice. And keep the inning alive. Just when you're looking for one of those shutdown ends, you get two quick outs, D roll, then you give up a two out base hit to extend the inning. Yeah, you show me a big league ball player that's All right, here we go. Away. Jake Fraley. No chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at bat, every plate appearance. Nice job. Maybe a little two out lightning start. Jake Fraley is in for the third time as he looks at a ball high. It's 1 and 0. Damn. It really sucks that he was 0 for 5 yesterday. I even got him like... Oh, I was able to even get him one more crack at it for the nice hit from... Uh, Murphy? Tom Murphy, I, I believe. Nah, we'll stop, we'll stop, we'll stop. You know, your offense just throws a number up on the board for you. The last thing you want to do... Is go out there and not throw a donut up for the boys. He was able to get those should be JP so Crawford quick, before Kyle Lewis. Lewis. Finds himself in a little bit of trouble. In now, JP Crawford. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And that's a that's a run. Okay. Gave up two, got one back. And I can't blame the pitching coach for making that walk. That's we have Kyle second. Lewis coming up. Here, so he's going to remind this guy that they just need to make one good pitch and get this inning over with. Let's see if the talk does any good. There is uh, quite a bit of wind outside. Standing in now, Kyle Lewis. As Granky jumps That's fine. Here That's fine. One. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Obviously, way too aggressive. The timing wasn't bad, though. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Popped up. On to first, and that'll be ah, that's a huge missed opportunity. It's a huge missed opportunity right there. Way too aggressive. The first swing was okay. It was a check swing. Thankfully, nothing went uh, too south, but those last two swings were bad. Real, real bad. Somehow mustered seven hits, though. Just unfortunate that we aren't able to convert some of those into uh, some more runs. Been a disappointing couple of games offensively. Been playing so well and just have not been able to, First delivery to him. put yeah, some of them together. Of course, I mean, the aside from the the uh, the ten to two thumping that we gave Houston in Seattle, haven't played super well against this team. The last couple of games, I mean, two one victory is good. No, that's far more the. We got two runs. Hold on for dear life. Sort of scenario. And even after that 
series ending loss to Houston coming back. First game against Arizona was a 2 nothing victory. That was a tight victory. And then if it wasn't for a grand slam from Kyle Lewis, you know. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Who knows where that goes? I mean, that, that Grand Slam was a solid Grand Slam, but it also looked like it was going to be maybe a, um, maybe a double, which still would have cleared the bases, or not cleared the bases, sorry. Still would have scored the runs, two runs, and gotten, uh, gotten us the lead, but... Then that still is one of those kind of hold on for dear life games. And Fuck me, dude. Two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. There we go. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Astros go down one, two, three, but they still easily. So we'll lead off here with two. Kyle Seeger and then Mitch Hanniger behind him. We're through five. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Seeger, a fly out and a single for him so far. First offering on its way. Now a swing. I wanted all of it right there for no reason. There was no reason to do that. The wind up and the 0-1. Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hold 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Half will wait on it, and he's got it for the first down. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger, a hit in two tries for him so far. First delivery to him. This is in the air to left. Ooh, that'll get down. Okay. Beggars can't be choosers right there. We love those long darts. Doesn't matter how they come. Jammed off the end of the bat. Doesn't matter. All right. Slow down, Sean. Slow down. At the plate now, Ty France. There we go. That's good slowness right there. Let that take happen. The one oh. And this is foul tipped at the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. Now the one and one pitch. We're in the sixth inning. Everything's now. everything's been low. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the running play. Two down. So now into the box is Dylan Moore. No hits to this point. Gonna take something deep to get Hanniger all the way around. Pitch on the way as he puts it on the ground to third. Throw in time and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors and a man left. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. Starting to see those ugly numbers again. Eight hits, two runs scored. Come on, Sheffield. Throw it in the fucking zone. Right there. Back door slider. Just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Oh, for fuck's sake. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. Two balls and a strike to count. Now the 2-1. Hot shot down the line. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. 
Next up for the Strohs, Carlos Correa. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Oh, there you go. There you go. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Next up is Ian Happ. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Now here's the first offering. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm looking for. Poor performance when you dive into the numbers. This guy's thrown over 80% of his first pitches for strikes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back on it is the left fielder into the Crawford boxes and <sighs> Damn it. It's just it was a it was too many sliders in the same spot. Got too cute. A solo home run here off the bat of Ian Happ. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. So now here is Trey Mancini. And then after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. Slider just early on it. Just got enough. Oh, are you fucking serious? And now the first pitch. You want the same slider. The Lots of hits given up, but so far no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Into the windup and the pitch. Got him swinging, and that's there we go. Out. Damn it, fucking Christ. That goddamn fucking out. It was two outs? Astros get Jesus. Here, courtesy of the God in heaven. Four. Eight, nine, and top of the order coming up to start the seventh. It's now 5-2 Houston. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Evan White. Here's the pitch. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Now here's the pitch. I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. That was awful. That was a fucking horrendous... Swing. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Here's the center fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there. We're already in the top of the seventh. Holy shit. Next to stand in is Luis Torrens. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch. It's another big old dumb curveball. Fucking hate seven. the curveball. Oh. Too late, too late, too late, too late. Ooh, there's a little thunder. Fraley. 
Dan, if they're going to crack for Ailey, it's got to be the opportunity they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dero? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. Oh, they are taking Grinky out of the game. That is a little surprising. I mean, we've put up a lot of hits. We just haven't been able to convert. So I guess it's not terribly surprising. I don't know. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Blake Taylor, 49 games, 3-0 record, 10 holds, 51.1 innings with a 3.68 ERA. Uh, 39-22 and 22 strikeouts to walks. Up next, J.P. Crawford. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Fucking hit a goddamn homer, man. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep, but if you allow How dare you? Base, Telephone. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. A lot All right. Four seam slider, change up. First pitch on its way. Take Ooh, that's a nice slider. to be seen if they can get it but now sure would be a great time the 01 pitch and high outside all right one and one e. 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 not what i wanted runners are at first and second with one away That's a good swing. I was late on it, I assume. Yeah. That's a good take. That's a bold take. I thought it was a good take, and then I, I saw how close it was to the strike zone. I went, okay, maybe a little bold. Really likes this bottom part of the zone here. Ooh, that is not what I was looking for at all. Digging in next, Kyle Lewis. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, man, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Now here's the first offering. Outside, trying to... I think that was the same spot he went with that first pitch last time. He just hit the zone. Skied into straightaway right. And the two-out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. The Mariners leave a couple. And the deficit remains 5-2. to two. That has, this has been a fucking problem all season long. Ten hits, two runs scored. Last half of the seventh here, and striding forward the designated hitter, Alberto Ibarra. First pitch of the A-B on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Sheffield still a bit of energy in him, so or what? I my brain I don't know what is wrong with me. I just do not do you not feel like I can function right now. Sheffield still has a bit of energy in him, so that's good. Unfortunately, in line for the loss, I have not done anything offensively that would suggest that I would be able to come back from this deficit. And we have had fucking opportunities, man. Two as he fouls it away. Pitch number 69 is a foul ball. Now the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Crawford has it. And there's one down now. That was a slow developing roller out there. Even with 41 speed, he almost beat that out. Down on strikes in his last at bat. 
first offering on its way. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. And he fouls this one off. Five runs, eight hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. That'll work. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jose Altuve. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ooh, God. Middle of the strike zone taken for a strike. Yuck. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Hit in the air down the right field line. Waiting right. on his head. Fairly painless and bottom of the seventh. To retire the side. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're still out in front, five to two. Seeger, Hanniger, France. Ryan Presley. Is Ryan Presley. Game 49 game games, 40, uh, 40, oh uh, my God. 49 games, four and seven record. Nine blown save opportunities. Yikes. 52.1 innings pitch with a 3.44 ERA. Four seam sweeping curve and a slider. God fucking damn it. You fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Stepping in now, Mitch Hanniger. As the first God damn it. I thought I was going to be able to close it to 5 3. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Foul God away. fucking damn it. What are you doing? Stop swinging at that Bases shit. Empty, one man out. Idiot. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And that is just shy of the box seats. Off the you top of the suck ass. I hate this fucking tonight. stadium. You're fucking bullshit Crawford boxes. You want the game to go to extra so you can get some more ABs. That's his third hit of the game and his swing just keeps getting better and better. Almost hit that one out of here, but he'll take a double anytime. Fucking Crawford boxes. Back to back should have been home runs, huh? Just robbed by bullshit. Houston fucking Astro cock grabbing bastards. Ooh, that thunder channels have my anger. The Lord up there bowling strikes. Yikes. Fucking yikes. Y I K E S. Yikes. That's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Not here, though, because there's a big stupid fucking wall over there. Not as dumb as Boston's, but. any way he can with that possible tying run behind him in the on-deck circle. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he'll get caught chasing Why? a bad one there. It's what are you doing? I can't. I can't even. Oh, my God. 
and it's quickly Owens. I can't get it all back in one swing there, Sean. He doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's 2-2 two and two now. Two out here and a runner at second. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The Astros on top, 5-2. to two. Now at the plate, here is Kyle Tucker. I accidentally down. tapped the button. I accidentally ta tapped the fucking button. First offering on its way. I, li I did that dumb thing where I just kind of bumped it. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. Down the third baseline. What a frustrating game today has been. I've amassed a bunch of hits again, and I just can't get anything to go across. Obviously, that was a terrible strikeout, and, like, I shouldn't have even... I shouldn't have even, like, had my thumb near the button. He's, he was throwing him so far outside. It just... Oh, my God. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Perhaps he can drive Absolute the fucking the disaster of a top of the eighth inning. Two robbed home runs, one by a player, one by the fucking... Ass wadden. Oof, Jesus, why did you run towards that, sir? I, it should have been a solo shot for Seeger, and it should have been a fucking solo shot for Mitch Haniger. It should be five fucking four. Alright, Ryan Stanek has an 0 4 record in 33 games. 19 save conversions out of 22 opportunities, 33.2 innings pitched, 3.48 ERA, 41 to 14 strikeouts to walks. All set to start the ninth in this one, and up next is Evan White. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. What are you talking about? They just brought him in. Game, are you okay? He's set and the pitch. 90 mile, 98 mile an hour fastball. Fastball, slider, splitter. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's 1 and 2. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Now Next up, Luis Torrens. So far, two for three in this one. Pitch on its way. That was really bad. It was just well, well, uh, well thrown, well timed. Um, slider on that. I was not looking for it. I was thinking it would be a high fastball. 
to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. From the stretch. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. Damn it. He will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. He's proven to be an awful wow. reliable reliever this season. He so that's uh that's two losses in a row for the Mariners. Uh, two frustrating losses as well. I pile up a ton of hits in these games, and I can't do anything with it. Um, I, th I went into this game with a lot of confidence. Zach Grinke was a pitcher we fucking destroyed in Seattle. Just couldn't uh, couldn't get the better of him today. And I don't know. Great play there to cut down a run. But that uh, eighth inning was really bad. Got two of these home runs robbed. There's one of them. I mean, it's a... Yeah. 11 hits, only two runs scored. They scored five runs on eight hits. Justice Sheffield picks up the loss. And the Mariners continue to uh, struggle. Ever since that ass, or the, the Royals series, things have been a lot more up and down. Um, just, I don't know. I, I don't know. Alex Bregman. Go fuck himself. Uh, Zach Greinke, 6.1 innings pitched, gave up 10 hits, only two earned runs, no strikeouts, no walks. Justice Sheffield gets tagged with the loss. Eight innings pitched, eight hits, three strikeouts, five earned runs, and Stanek picks up save number 20. Um, yeah, Bregman, two for four with a home run, a double, a ribby, and two runs scored. Ian Happ was one for three with a solo shot. Jake Fraley, four for five with a run. Hanniger three for four with a double and a ribby. And just not the not the great start I was looking for. I was hoping to hoping to be able to come back from a a similar five two loss. Uh, let's actually let's check this out for just a second. Eight hits. Okay, they got fourteen of them. Eleven to two. 13 and 3, yeah. Um, yeah, losing record so far in this in game September. Um, as we uh, as we continue to march towards the end of the season, thankfully, the uh, the Angels lost as well. So, we're there's still three games back. We did give Houston a game on us, they're nine and a half back, they're only three and seven in their last ten. But a lot of these, a lot of the teams, with the exception of the Rangers, oddly enough, kind of struggling here in the AL West. Um, Mariners five and five in our last ten. The Angels six and four, um, three and seven for the Astros. Five and five for the Athletics, even though they're about done. The Blue Jays, unfortunately, just couldn't take advantage of it to get uh, or keep pace with the Astros. Uh, Cleveland on a two game win streak, Boston, they were, they were at four and a half games back. They've slipped to six and a half games back with a loss. Um, the Tigers finally eliminated, I guess, mercifully eliminated from wild card and playoff contention. And, uh, yeah, just, I don't know, back to back five, two losses and just not a whole lot to write home about for the Seattle Mariners. And that's, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. We started the month wrong, as we have most of the time. Bounced back, got a win. Came back, got a bigger win, better win. Went into the Arizona finale with uh, a lot of confidence that I would be able to continue the hotness, get a sweep. That didn't happen. Came into today's game looking to defeat Zach Greinke. Came in with a lot of um, confidence that I was going to be able to do something there. Couldn't get anything going. And so we'll have to win two more. We'll have to win the final two games of the series to open these Allen and Ginter cards. Otherwise, we might have to wait until the uh, Arizona series. 
But we'll, uh, you'll have to just tune in to find out and see what happens every day, 1 p.m., right here on Twitch. or YouTube.com slash Rex. Twitch.tv slash Rex. That's where I stream. Uh, I haven't streamed in a while. I know. But hopefully the uh, schedule's mellowing out a little bit and I can um, carve out more consistent times to do that sort of stuff. Um, but there you go. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my misery yet again. Seattle falls to 86 and 52 through the first 138 games. We still have 39, 40, 41, 42, 24 games left. So, uh, thank you again so much for watching. Go Mariners. Fucking goddamn it. Tucker and the goddamn robbery. Bastard.